nice. See how motivated I am now that there's mango around? <laughs> it's for everyone, but I didn't want to bother you if you're busy, which... Okay, you, you, all I heard you say was nav, man, <laughs> when there's a lot of other people in here, so... Uh, just come wide, please. One wide. Great work on that, Fletcher. Thank you. Um, all right, so Dave, the, we got to go get this connector. The connector's off to the left. You should be able to reach it. We put it down from this position, so it, uh, it oh, shouldn't be too far. Oh, okay. We'll have a look over there. Yeah. Uh, I'll hold off, Trevor. Thanks. I just want to make sure that everybody got some. Um, not just Nav. <laughs> oh, no, we ain't reaching that. I mean, we definitely got some here, so... Oh, but Dave, the other ship did it. No, I'm not with an arm in the way they didn't. I'm, ki I'm kidding, buddy. Uh, let me stow this a little bit before we fly anywhere. All right. Uh, go for it, Dave. All righty. We're going to have to move, AJ. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Roger. Or maybe video is moving them into another folder. Yeah. That's it right there, isn't it? That'd yeah. be it. Okay. I would like, if possible, to grab it by the handle, but I don't have to. Yeah. I'll set you up. Don't worry. I was so worried, but now I'm not going to worry. Good man. got a parking position in it, so we'll have to Fletcher it on the porch. Roger. What are we doing these days? Pucks in or pucks out? Pucks in. Pucks in. Somewhere there, do you? Yeah, that'll be do. I'll do. I'm ready to reach whenever you are. Go for it. Roger. Come on. Do the thing. All right, whatever. We'll smear it. Mm -hmm. Fly over there first, Dave. Or you want me to Fletcher it first? Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't, doesn't matter really to matter. you. No. Let's go over there then. Okay. Okay, we're on the way. I have to be somewhere here, in it. Uh, you want me to just shift that so the cable goes on the backside? Or is, are you mean that's where you have to land? I think that's where I've got to land, really. Okay. We'll come around on the head in a little. Do you want to draw the porch out a bit more? Uh, no, that's all right. You're, you're happy where we are? You're yeah, good? I think okay. so. Roger. Fletching. Mm, yep, that's what I want to do. But I want to like this.
I'm good on the arm for about an hour. Can you let it tilt down or is that all we got? Mm -hmm. How about a little zoom please video? Just a bit. Right to that. That's good. Thank you. Nice. Splunk, uh, come on, please, video. Again. Understood, pull it wide. All right, hang on, we're you getting... right there, Dave? Yeah, we're just You're getting pushed to touch, I got it. Okay. If you get a chance, either turn or pan right. Uh, that's all right. Do you think you'll have to clear that foul mat, or is that you want me to go like this? Well, yeah, I'm just not sure if it'll get in the way of the connector. I'm gonna let go, it's definitely on. <coughs> Alright, keep the arm back, just let me reset here. Roger. So we've got pushed a fair bit with that. Roger. You can also sort of just lift up that PBOF if you to move it forward so that you can scooch in if you'd like. Yeah, I can come in underneath it. Hmm, <coughs> could be. I looks mean, like, it looks like it is, but we'll check. Yeah. The bubble cam, maybe not. Oh yeah. See it there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't ha it didn't bounce back as much as I thought it would. No, maybe I just didn't actually push it that far. I don't know. Let me know, Dave, no rush. The thing is zoom. Cool. Yeah, on bubble, you can see that it needs another kiss. Yep. I'm sorry. You heard me. I'll go make out with this connector. Do it. <laughs> yeah, he didn't hear AJ's comment. He wants me to kiss the connector. It's practice. <laughs> How you doing, Dave? Yep, good to go. Lovely. Coming up on the arm. Yep. Video, can we zoom a little, please? Absolutely. That's good. Okay, you might get pushed here, Dave. Yep. Nope. No. Really? It's what do you want from me? Ooh, there's a push. Yeah, but it still bounced back. 
What do you think, AJ? Keep pushing? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was aggressive. <laughs> That's it. I think it went, yeah. Let's get, if we can get a Just zoom on those. Just had to get those. angry. A zoom on those times. Stand by. Can we zoom in, please, video? Absolutely. Going in. <laughs> Calm down, Trevor. <laughs> Just close Looks the arrow to me. So it. Yep. Lovely. Yep. Lucy. Good, AJ? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, let's come wide again, please. All right, coming wide. So I've got a question for sure if Martin's there. Um, in the dive plan, it has us going and leveling the BBS first. I'm just curious if while we're here, we can turn the battery to this back on, or if there's a reason we have to do that after we level the BBS. So I'd rather not have to come back here if we can avoid Agreed. it. Agreed. Also, sure, if you can power on port J1 of JB15 and have John D confirm communications. put this parking position away or do we need it again? You can put it away. Uh, where would you like it? In the bio box on the right. Starboard bio box? The starboard. Roger. So we're definitely not going to need it again. Well, I guess we can grab stuff out of there. It's just hard. Yeah, it came out of there. Oh, the other ship. The, the, the other ship was again? able to get it out of there. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think we need it again. No worries. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if we could grab stuff out of there, but obviously we can. Well, I mean, some people can. Oh. Something, something tells me his his other shift's his favorite. <laughs> no favorites. You I wear ours. You still are. The competition <laughs> is very weak. <laughs> Almost. Do you want to uh, leave it more down there? Do you? You uh, okay? By process of elimination, eh? Yeah, pretty much, sorry. Okay, let me open that drawer. Give me a bit more room this I'm time. I'm sorry, what? You don't like it? He loves it. Do you want to stay with this camera setup, or are you happy? Do you want to go to the uh, the other one? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is there any way I can keep this in view? No. <laughs> There's a rock right there too. How about that? There we go. Let's go. Let's pick it way up and come around. Okay, where's that camera? There it is. Let me go there. There it is. Nice, closing that. Okay, I've got a fun task for you now. Where's my telestrator?
I just prefer being in the habit. You know what I mean? I just brought the habit of just bumping it open and touch. Oh, careful the cables yeah, there. Yeah, you saw it there. Hmm. Can you tilt up and to the right, please, Dave? Can you guys hurt? There we go. Sorry, what are we doing next? Okay. The battery? Yeah, the battery. So, once you're happy with that arm, if you can just, uh, yeah, exactly, get some pan there. So, right now you can see this bolt here. Oh, telestration. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do first is we'll take this monkey's fist and we'll pull it away, which will pull this ring off of the bolt. Roger. Then we'll be able to pick the bolt up and rotate it. Towards uh, us, right? Like, yeah. yeah. So that the bolt is resting on this white bell rim block. Roger. Hey right. Trevor, this is the last thing I'm doing, then I'm switching out. You okay there? Do you need to move or a heading change, anything? Dave, if I need something, I'll tell you, all right? God damn it. <laughs> so stressy. <laughs> Now the issue is I gotta pull it away. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Beauty. See, I'm using up all my arm karma. That's what I'm switching out after. <laughs> Sneak a finger in there, <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> oh, look at that, Trevor for the win! <sighs> oh, yeah. you got it. Nicely done, Josh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh. Not good. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> you tilt down, please, Dave. You're Hold just repositioning it for the second half of this pull. There we go. All right, all right, easy. We're done. No, no. I just you can regrip. It's got to go all the way up against the Delrin, so I'm not sure okay. if it's quite there yet. Roger that. I just thought you were pulling, you were gonna like pull the aux platform with it. Roger. Okay, easy now. Can't see. Can you tilt down a bit, please, Dave? They could have got it a little bit tighter to the side of the box. Yeah, we were thinking of putting it in the box. Hmm. Waiting. While we're waiting, I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be able to get that left arm working? 
Okay, for, so for this dive, or is this going to be a one function doesn't work? We cannot pick the the main shoulder part up. Okay. Um, the other functions work, so yes, we can still use it. It's just okay. a little bit limited. I was um, thinking like with the bars and the gas tights. Well, with the gas tights, for sure, we we need use of that arm. ROV work. Just go for it. Looks like you're, it's pretty close to that Delrin block. Is it just me? I can't even see the Delrin block. Where is it? Is it it's buried? Just, it's just also white. So it's hard to see. All you can really see is like the, um, okay. the like crease. Give this a push, AJ. Yeah. Zoom, please, video. Roger that. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. Thank you. Can't see. I wonder if the Delrin block is just buried. I kind of think so. It's, well, I think it's right there. Pick this up so I can. Yeah. Ah, oh, stupid oily. Come wide, please, video. Pulling wide. I'm just coming up the camera. Hang on. I'm just going to pick this up, Dave. Yep. Yeah, sure. Confirmed that we are looking to power on J1 on. Are we saying that needs a little JB more, AJ? 15. Sorry. In the middle of talking. Uh, yeah, it needs a little more. Should I try and get him out of the dirt, or you want me to just give it a push? You can just see the Dell run there. What's that, Dave? You can still, you can just about see the Dell run there, so you might be able to push it onto it. What would you like me to do, push or reset this, AJ? Sorry. It's okay. Uh, what's the question? Well, it's kind of a little bit buried and hard to see the Dell run. Would you like me to place this a little bit? different or just give this a push where it is i mean it's kind of up to you whether you think you can get it uh well, it i can definitely push it from here i just it's hard to see that's it all it doesn't hurt to reset it a little further away just roger just to tidy it up it's going to create a quite a bit of sediment but we don't have much more to do here okay That's just going to make it harder for me to <laughs> get it, so that was not smart. At least you can see the tail run. Can you? Mm-hmm. And how long is that going to last? It's just a bit like, it's tippy, right? So once you push on it, it buries that corner.
I think that's pretty good. I would agree. Yeah, maybe we can just get a, a bit It'll of zoom on it when you're ready and. A big worm. Lift. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, I think that's touching. If you're happy, I'll put it down, whatever you'd like. Yep, I'm good. Okay. I think we got a good look at it. Okay, so next up is for us to go and do the heading and leveling of the broadband seismometer. So we'll take off here and you know the seismometer is just off to the right, very close. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is maybe s hover over top of it, figure out where North is using Hercules' compass, and try to get a sense for how far we have to yaw it in order to get it North aligned. And then we'll sit down at it, probably again facing 30 degrees, because that's where our landing zone is, and make the adjustments that we need to for heading. And then... Um, our, my colleagues on shore will be able to communicate with the instrument and help us level it using the bead bags as kind of ways to, to prop it up. Okay. All right, coming up. It's all right. Arm karma. Arm karma. Yeah. Cranky? Crankier? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there might be a white mark on the rib that we want to align with the north. So if we kind of flip around to the north side of it and look south, we might have a better visual indicator on the instrument. I think I'm going to hang here until I blow half of this sediment out. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, our instrument takes uh, about 10 minutes to boot up, so we've got uh, time anyways. Okay. Remember. Sure. All right. Let's see what we get. So you want to be on the northern side of it? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, I think if we if we sit north of it with a heading of 180, then we should be able to see which rib is painted white, and that's that rib is supposed to be aligned north. Yeah. So that, that'll give us a sense of kind of how far out we are. Come on, any of these, maybe? <laughs> Come on, I just want to see the comp. Is there really not a comp, uh, craft comp preset? There was. Oh, you can kind of see it there, I guess. Um, the That's hose fine. is in a different position. Yeah. You have to shift across and zoom in to see it properly. Yeah, Roger. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Roger, uh, ignore. Take a guess and call it a day. Yeah. Alrighty. We can also take a minute now to just to survey the, the cable real quick. I mean, it doesn't go very far but it wouldn't hurt to get eyes on the path. All right, stopping this, following the cable. Nice.
There might be a bit of a tower behind you. Okay. I don't know if you have a cam out that way. Uh, yeah, there's, we're clear at the okay. moment. I'll just come up over it and look down a bit better. Just give ourselves a bit more clearance. clearance. There's the tar there. Let's just see that turn on main cam. Oh, look at the size of that fella. Oh, big boy. Wow. Can you just keep turning to the right? Yeah, coming around. Okay. <coughs> yeah, okay. That's great. I just want to make sure we have the whole path. Yeah. Okay. Sitting down to the south is going to be quite tricky. It's going to put me right, like facing south, is going to put me right on top of that big pile of rocks just there. I'm not sure we need to sit down. Okay. Um, I think if we're flying, it's just to give us an idea of how far off we are on the compass. No worries. And then we can come back and sit down in the, in the landing zone that we know works. Yep. There's your white line. Oh man, it's close. Yeah, looks like we did pretty well. It's almost perfect. So yeah, her heading 180 right now. Mm-hmm. And it looks like we're pretty well square to it. So yeah, yeah that's great. I'm just going to come down closer and verify. Don't think we will want to adjust that much because I don't think we can do much better. You can see it in bubble cam too. It's pretty square to the world. Gives you the top down view, you know? Yeah. Nice job, guys. Yeah, Perfect. so that's 183. And if you just nudge. Yeah, there's 180 right there. Yeah, that looks pretty square to the porch. So, okay, that's great. So okay. we can uh, approach it from our happy landing zone on the low side. Yep.
So does Shore have comms of the instrument now? Yeah, it's it's booting. They've been able to ping it. Cool. So it's so far so good, but the uh, interface takes a while to boot. Roger. I think you landed on the Magnum, which is fine, but it just might mean you're teetery tottery. Yeah, that's just what I was looking for. I can't really see it there. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the idea with these bags is that we kind of place them kind of half beside, half on top to couple the instrument with the ground and also help us make our leveling adjustments. Okay. So we're just waiting for the instrument to boot, and then we'll be able to get some guidance from shore on the level. I'd say it's uh, not yeah. level. From here, it looks not. I yeah. mean, I guess the ROV, when it sits, <laughs> it's pretty level, right? Yeah, we got a four degree roll right now. So I think we can try to start leveling this okay. based on our eyes, and then we can use shore to um, sort of touch it up fine tune kind of deal but i don't know if like we like the heading so i'm not sure if just maybe picking up one of those bead bags on the right and placing it kind of on the lip might allow this thing like allow us to roll this to the right okay. without like lifting the instrument does that yeah i think i i think i sense? understand what you're saying let's uh fly at her yeah can i get a zoom in please video and good there. That's great. <coughs> Oop, just kidding. There we go. So, you want this kind of tucked in? I think, yeah, using that to help push down the, the high side. Set yeah, it on okay. the lip a little. Yeah. Yeah, Roger. Because I think if maybe if we could also use try to use the ROV arm to just push on it and see if it sits and stays. Yeah, it doesn't look like the weight of that's actually going to do enough to move the instrument. Would you like me to push down on the lip? Yeah, try pushing down on the lip. Sounds good. I didn't know how sort of tippy it was. It's not that worse. Better? That's better. Yeah, it's definitely better. I'd Try another keep, one of those. Keep going with that strategy. What was that data? You want a waypoint here? Sure. That looks kind of nice. That looks good. Yeah, seated in the muck a little bit too. Yeah. What do we think? It's so hard with the camera and the angles, but like, what do we think about the bottom left? Move a, move one of the bags in underneath. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? Well, are you like giving it a little push, or do we think that looks level to us, kind of? Are you saying um, push on like this kind of side push here? Push where the dirt is. I, for some reason, yeah. my telestrator is like zoomed in. I can't go that deep. Zoom out, please, video, video. Yeah, I'm not sure. Can if you pushing the camera? Here. Where do you want the camera? Just square up. Yeah, I like that. Nice. I think the biggest one for us for going level is going to whether or not we've got it that sort of as we look at it north south kind of yeah thing. yeah uphill right. downhill that's hard to tell that's Can the one we're going to struggle data? with all i've got is i got bubble and it looks pretty close mm. but I, I don't know i think it might be at uh, instrumentation levels of levelage now yeah what do we think so martin our scientist on shore is, is saying that in order to get good coupling to the rocks it's nice if we can push the lip below the sediment Um, so I don't know, do we think we can sort of push on both sides to just to get it like deeper into the mud? We can rock her back and forth, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what would you like to do right now? Stand by or start pushing? No, I think we can start pushing. Okay, I'll push on the left side, right by the north marker. Yeah. Maybe one rib towards us. Yeah. Zoom in please, video. And good there. Don't want to come down a wee bit. Yeah, uh, great. Yeah. There you go. 
I think this is this is going to be the BB, the final BBS position. I'm not going to go too hog wild here because no, yeah. I'd already rocked it a little bit, so I think it's okay to rock it. Like we'll rock it back. I just I'm not sure we'll actually be able to get this lip below the sediment. without really like wildly. Yeah, no problem. I can't push right on the top, can I? I'm not sure, I'll ask. Yeah, cause like right here would be pretty nifty. Just in the meantime, oh. I can stand by or keep rocking it back and forth. You can try w rocking it sort of on the near and far side, maybe. Sure. This yeah. controller goes to sleep, and then it, you press A to wake it up, and then it like takes a moment, and then it works again. So We've gotten permission to gently push on the top if we would like. Gently, aye. It's probably better than messing around by the connector. Oh, I like that. I feel like while we still have some in the bank, maybe we should not push until we get level. Then we can do our final seating. You know what I mean? Yeah. Up to you, of course. Yeah. No, it's <coughs> open to ideas. Um, yeah, well, what we can do is we can have John run the leveler, see how close we are, mm -hmm. and then we can start bead bagging, and then we can maybe make our final adjustments once the bead bags are already on, because I imagine putting them on, we have a good chance of offsetting yeah, sure. our level. So why don't we stand by? Stand by. Martin's asking if we feel that we've hit hard bottom. Mm, almost, um, but not quite. I can yeah. feel it started to slow down, but I think we have a bit more for don't, levelage. Don't know that we're at hard bottom. We can try just pushing a little more. Yeah, I Do think, it. sure, just give okay. it a little more. Yeah, roger. Because it's, you can definitely still see it kind of like rocking, tipping. That's definitely dropped at the back loop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can push on the near side. Yeah, Roger. Stand by. We're a little shaky. Yeah. Come wide, mm -hmm. please, video. I'm out of there. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you can see that the lip on the back side is now below the sediment, which is nice. Mm hmm I think we might sit a bit better here, which is... Yeah, we're on one of the bags, but that's fine until we, yeah, need yeah. until we need it. Yeah. We'll just see where she wants to go. Okay, try that button. Did I hear right that you want me to push on the the near side of the top here? Yeah. Okay. That worked pretty well. I mean, it's still going in a little bit. Yeah, maybe give it one more. One more dead center? Sure. Yeah, uh, that looks pretty firm. Yeah, yeah the ROV's coming right up that's all immediately. Annoying. Okay, um, maybe we can have John D on shore uh, run the leveler, which I'm assuming will tell us how level we are. Seems like a good feature of a leveler. And um, if we're close, then we can start moving bee bags. Can't believe you didn't bring any biscuits back. Scientist Dr. Martin Heisman is pleased with our efforts. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm standing by until further yeah. instructions. Stand by. Okay, um, so the leveler adjusts the BBS internally if it is out of level. Um, so I'll ask John, should we then place the bead bags on the BBS first and then run the leveler? Okay, bags first seems to be the Roger. recommendation. So, bags yeah, I guess just before we do bags, how does this look to us? Still level? I think so, yeah. And it looks still pretty northy. So it looks reasonable, yeah. Yeah, okay. So let's go bags then. Go bags or go home. So we can start just moving, you know, however you guys want. Come around and just lean the bags against it. Roger that. kind of is already leaned pre-leaned for my convenience and then another request is to try to clear the bridle so that it's not as exposed to the current so maybe when we get to one of the bead bags on the side near the ROV we can kind of pull the bridle gently without hopefully moving the BBS too much Roger. and tucking it under a bag under bag just watch the connector on that side, actually. Yeah. I'm not sure we want to be leaning right up against it. Okay, I'm going to let the dust clear a sec. Yeah. That one you can probably, like, we can leave it free in the connector, and then that can come to the right. So you don't want the cables covered by B-Bag? I was thinking the strumming or whatever. Yeah. It's true. Sometimes we use staples. So yeah. maybe... I was going to just gently put it over and kind of drape yeah, it. Yeah, maybe put it more on the cable and just not so much on the connector. Sure. For that sort of quadrant. Roger that. I just don't want it because it's a right angle connector and I just don't want, you know, all that uh, the beads sitting on it. Funny. Okay. Sure. But yeah, confirmed covering the cable would be good, so. Roger. Let's see. Looks like the cable already runs into the sediment a little. Mm -hmm. From the pushing the yeah. thing into the ground. I did not expect it to go into the mud that nicely. So yeah, the mud here cool. is really deceiving. It kind of just disintegrates on you. <coughs> yeah. This is bubble cam. You can see bubble cam there, AJ. Yeah, I Happy think that's with good. That spot? Yeah, you can you can bring it a little closer. Just yeah, so it's just lightly up against the connector. It looks like it is actually touching. I think yeah. that's okay. Drop it there. Yeah, and Happy? you can sort of put one more on the on the other side of the connector there. Yeah, I'll nestle the next one like right yeah. in kind of this zone. Perfect. Okay. I think this one's actually uh, leaking, leaking beads. Really? Yeah. Oh, it does look big old. In it. Go quick, go quick.
Oh, that's a baggy one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, I think now we have to back up a little. Yeah, I think we have to. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm out of there and arm secure. Cool. Oh, there is a bonus bag there. That's oh, great. Yeah. That was what was keeping me up off a of magnum. So Dave, if you want, I can do that magnum wrist all the way up. It sticks it out, but then it gets it off of the bottom plane. Yeah, let's. I think we're okay think here. Okay? If you Great. can get that, yeah. Yeah, I think I can. When do we get wireless? Alright. Okay. Might as well do this one first. Can you give me a bubble tilt up, please? Mm hmm. Oh, other up. Yeah, it's backwards to everything else in the world. Miss. Miss again, isn't it? Yeah. Can I get a zoom in, please, video? Great there. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I don't love that, but... You can come wide video. So for one of these, we might want to just um, try to somehow trap that bridle. Yeah, that's right. You mentioned that. Sorry about that. No, no, it's okay. I, I sort of imagined <coughs> us using the, that bag it. to the bottom left. Okay. We'll come up and come back at it. Okay. See what's going on there. Uh, why don't I get that manip out of the way here? Yep. Well, we're up already. Put him in punch mode. Speaking of punch mode. Yeah. It, that's It's that rock just there. Mm -hmm. To the, almost the center of the porch. That's the problem. See how that works, mate. Okay, that's differently tucked now. Hopefully that helps. Now instead of landing on the jaws, we just land on the hydraulic lines. <laughs> Are there other bead bags around here? Just the, the whole shebang. I think this is all we got. Okay.
see the punch marks on that rock from the magnum. All right, video zoom, please. And good there. that oops yeah it, there's just kind of stiff leaded lines yeah I don't know if like if you're gonna grab that bead bag to the left with the white handle yeah. if you can like raise it high and then kind of like drag it down that side it might just sort of pin that bridle yeah I gotta do that gray one too farther back so I might do that first uh yeah, yeah. sure yeah Looks like it's punctured too. Maybe, well maybe not. Just buried. Yeah. I'm gonna get this higher up, and then wait for the viz to clear, and then I'm gonna try to get that line down. stuck on the line. If I drop it here, AJ, it'll obviously roll off. Would that be okay? Yeah, I think so. Because it might, it might sort of slide more than it rolls. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. Nope, I, think, I was wrong. I think it rolled. Hmm. Nope. Miss. Can I pick it up by the corner of the bag? Or can we yes, grab you that? may. Okay. Not that. There's a small grip if I've ever seen one. Yeah, so, hmm. Definitely rolls. I'll try holding it and lowering it instead of letting it slide. Yeah, if you sort of just try to ease it. No, it really wants to go it in. It really wants to Very roll. Rolly. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> yeah, more.
Is there? You almost there's need not another currently. one to set on top of that, don't you? Yeah, kind of do. Like if there was a bag right there that fit on top of the gray and white handle one and landed right there, yeah. Exactly. So we, yeah, we've got one bag. Yeah, I think we got two bags and two spots for them. There's that one and then one off to the right as well. Right. Which is a little. Yeah. I don't know. I'll ask Martin. In the meantime, I might as well keep working. Um, can you pan right, please? Mm-hmm. I'll work around this side, which has no bridle. Once I can see. Yeah, that one looks Oops. like you already did it. I got this guy down here, which is, ooh, far. All right, I can do that. What's, is that a bungee maybe? Probably won't grab the bungee. Yes, I am gonna grab the bungee, come on, man. There we go. Oh, that wasn't my best work. But <laughs> it's in there now. Okay, I'm halted. So we got that last one. It's not quite set, kind of rolled off. Which one's that? The one on the left? It's the left white one, yeah. Yeah, I think if we just reset that one, I think we're all good. Leave the lead in line as is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get it. Yeah, it's like just too short, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice, like it's laid down out of the currents as it is, so try not to disturb it too much because I think this is a good position for it. Sounds good. Yeah. It's got the line as well. Yeah. yeah. I think that's really nice. Okay, full wide, please, video. So there's a little gap kind of yeah. right yeah. there, you see. But Yeah, I think that's good, though. Dr. Martin seems very pleased. Okay, are we leaving this deployment. bungee behind? Um, no, oh. let's clean it up. Okay. Is there room in the... Uh, I don't know. There's that. plenty of room in the bio box for it. Yeah, it's not my favorite. The trash bin. My favorite uh, trash bin. The old thruster grabber 200 here. Yeah, going around the side, are we? Um, why do we got no starboard cam right now? Uh, hmm. There we go. Weird. Something weird got routed right to a weird spot. Uh, yeah, I think I'd like to do this one with a secured thruster, though. Okay, let's see what happens first. Sure, yeah. Uh, is it? So there's a relay isolation. Relay isolation, isn't it? No, that's all right. Okay. See how she goes? Yeah. I'm not going to go over there until you're happy. No, I think we're okay. Happy? Okay. Yeah. Well, Put the sample tray out. Okay. We are moving around a little, but nothing drastic yet. Okay, Raj. You know, plenty of room. We got the uh, aft thruster on, it looks like. Uh, that'll be head hold, which is what's keeping me in place right Raj. now. Roger. I can kill it quick it's if you getting, want. It's, yeah, it's getting pulled in there, so. Yeah. You can let go right now. Don't uh, I don't right. love I don't love this situation. <laughs> if you don't love it, I mean we can 
Just never open Pandora's box again. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to close this in slow. Okay. You're all right. good. Close Come it all clear. the way, yeah. I'm we'll just, we'll talk there. about that other bungee that's down there. And we'll I'm get just going to let her come up. Yeah, you can uh, also I'll enable your thruster. So, folks, yep. just one request here before we leave the Thrusters area. Thrusters on. Cheers. Yeah, stand by. Hi, AJ. Yep. Go, okay, I've got it. We're good. Okay. So, um, there's just a request to clear the cable that runs up onto the rock there. Just try to clear it into the mud a little bit. So let's see if I can tell it straight. So I think we kind of want um, this cable section up here. Uh huh. We might just be able to drag it uh, like just this way. Okay. I don't think we have to worry about Arms this. Gear. I think it's just here. Okay. There's, if we move, there's a good chance of it getting real close. See that corner on that triangular rock? Mm hmm. It's going to get real close to that pinch point in there. Gets put right in the slot there. For better or for worse. So let me come around. I think it's mostly this suspended section here that's of concern. Okay. Uh oh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry, go ahead. No, nope. right. We just want to pull that towards the vehicle, yeah? Good to go when you are, mate. Okay. Roger. Okay, grip is locked open. Uh, let's see what happens. like this, AJ? Yeah. That's all I got right now. Into the Magnum. And then you could do that again right there. Right here? Yeah. While we're here? Just, yeah, do something like that maybe. Whoops. Oh my gosh, oh. why is this button? Hmm. Okay. You know, hang on. I, yeah, I just didn't like the look. It looked like we were yeah. just catching that other side of the cable. Yeah, agreed. I'm going to come around here. Just leave it like that for Dirk. Try from there. Okay, am I going right by the bags or the loop? Over, that, over that rock, I think. Okay. Um, I'm still. Yeah, you can go. Yeah, go there. Sure. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I think we're just trading one rock for another. Oh, that's yeah, that's nice. And then I'm just a little still. If you go left, just that little rock here yeah i don't know if we're clear of it it could just be that the way the cable <coughs> angle exits the sediment i just oh, want to get eyes right. on it okay yeah i think it is clear of the rock i'm not sure yep there's much we can do other than pushing on the cable which we don't want to do can i grab the rock and move it is it part of the bedrock oh don't know try that i that rock just where it's coming out of the sediment just this right here Yep. 
I don't know. I I think that's okay. I kind of don't want to mess with it too much because messing okay. with cables is not not the greatest. And I think that's more the angle in which it's exiting the sediment than any, anything Would to do with that rock. Over the top and give you a better look if you want. Sure. And I'm always looking for an excuse to grab a rock, so. Uh, you can see it just there in the bubble. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks clear, that rock. I think it's just the angle. I think that looks good. Martin thinks that looks good. Okay. Everyone's so I happy. think that's a big, that's a big check mark. Roger, big Way check mark. Way to go, mark. guys. Arm secure. Where so, uh, John, on shore, we are leaving the area, so feel free to use the leveler and um, unlock the masses. I don't think we have any plan on landing near oh. the BBS. Any? Oh, oh take a final heading. Masses. That's a good idea. Yeah. Can we go back, guys, and just take a final <coughs> heading on that? Um, north mm -hmm. marker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so swing back around again. Look at it from the south, yeah? Yeah. Okay. On I think way. if we can try to align our 180. Yep. Okay. Come this way, I think. After this, we gotta go look at the vents. Gotta. Gotta go look at the vents. So it is a little off. A little movement, yeah. It's like, I don't know, five degrees. So we can, we're okay to have it as long as it's within five degrees. Ugh, I hate to try to adjust it now with all the bags on it. Yeah, let me just come in close and. Yeah, if you can sort of sit close down and try to get the porch just perpendicular to it, then we can see exactly what the heading is on her. I think I saw 176 there. Let me try again. thing with sitting down, AJ, is you're going to have a lot of pitch and roll, too. Yeah. I don't mean, like, sit down, sit down. I just mean get, right. get lower. Uh, right. Are we touching? There. Is that, do we keep bumping? We're just bumping, yeah. Oh, okay. Not not the Not bags, the bags, but the, the, the cliffs nearby, yeah. 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 So. So I'll back up again so you get a better view of that. Just looking in the bubble. Yeah, bubble cam's been the, I think, the hot ticket here. Yeah, oh, okay, fair enough. <coughs> Just a straight down view is all. So I think we're pretty square, right? No, not yet. Right. Yeah, right. Now, now, pretty one much. Seven, yeah. six, one, seven, one, seven, seven, five and a half, maybe. Somewhere in there. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's within five degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. 175, 176. Yeah. Okay. I think that's okay. All right. Nice. Where to? Um, just stand by. Yep. I'm just going to come up out of the way. 
Ja. Ooh, well, nice job flying there, Went pretty smoothly. Logger, can you just make a note of the heading? It'll be the inverse of 176 degrees. Yeah, I can do that. It's all right. Thank you. All right. Yeah. yeah, so confirmed, we're good with that heading. That deployment looks great. So okay. next up for us is to go and investigate the bars and take some gas tights and then redeploy the bars. Redeploy. Redeploy. Where so are we at? We're going to, we can follow the broadband seismometer cable back to the IP, and then we can follow another cable over to the bars. Probably be the uh, safest way to navigate this region. So we should be kind of on top of the cable if we're south of the broadband seismometer. Just come down and see what happens. It's also possible that that, that PBOF is semi-buried. It'll run from the auxiliary platform, which is just off to our right. And we're going to be heading north-ish, right? No, it'll be south Southeast. Rats. That's totally wrong. kind of how I'm facing right now, is southeast. Yeah, it'll be like a bearing of 170. Okay. What do you think, AJ? Should we turn that bars on already, or should we investigate first? Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get, if I can reach Steve. I know I see Dirk here has written in to turn off the bars, which we did. Yeah. But uh, unknown why. Yeah, not sure. I think. If we were to just recover it, I think we would turn it off, but because we're redeploying it, I think we'd usually deploy them on. And that's probably why in the dive plan it doesn't have us turning it off. So ROV, if you... What's our heading now? 155? Well, yeah, give or take, yeah. So yeah, if you look to your... It's actually kind of right behind, there, behind us is the auxiliary platform. Well, so this cable, the green one, is the one that we just top laid to the auxiliary platform. Top right, though. Top right, though, down in the, in yeah, the, yeah, down yeah. the bottom. Yeah, I see it now. Yes. Follow that. Exactly. Understood. Yeah, that one there. Yeah. And where are we following this two back row? Is it the Mothra IP? Yeah, we're okay. heading towards the Mothra IP. Got it, thank you. Gonna be coming under you. Roger, I'm gonna come up. Can't hurt. And I'll bring my heading around to the south.
that heading's way out. Which? My, uh, mine. My heading right now is 180, and yours is 17, whatever, 160. That's not. That's. Yeah, but this is on the fiber optic channel. You're a magnetic, right? Yeah, that's 20 degrees at most around here. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. Coming back on it. We're yeah, going to ship move for this? That's a canyon. Um, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Our eventual um, location is going to be 36 meters at 270 degrees from the IP. So if we do move the ship, we might want to move it somewhere, kind of split the difference. I don't know if that made sense. What bearing do you want the ROV to go from here? Um, let me just try to get my bearings here. I think keep going straight. Okay. But uh, we're likely eventually going to follow these cables back around to the right. Eventually, I just mm -hmm. want to get eyes on the IP first. Okay. So you can move the ship maybe to where Herc is now. That might not be an awful idea. Roger. Yeah, all good. Bridge nav. Can we move one five meters south, please? Thank you. Okay, tilt camera, just top tilting. Thank you. Maybe look to the right. You got a weight plate in there? What's that monkey's fist? Yeah, I don't know. You're like an old reamer. No, this is just a big cable loop. Yeah. So I think we are west of the IP. Oh, we have a target for Mothra IP. I think Dirk yep. already went there. It's to our northeast. Yeah. Yeah, Better. so maybe come around 180 degrees from where you are. Understood. To a bearing of 4 or 5. Yep, coming around. I'm going to do a kind of drastic uh, heading change in Atalanta. Just want to test something out. Yep. There's the IP. Just missed it. Got it. Okay. So there's nothing really to do here just to get our bearings, but so I think the cables we want to follow are these ones. Our, uh, hmm. our wraps counters aren't working. Okay. So yeah. I've been... I know which way I've been going anyway, so it hasn't changed since I've sat here. Okay. We're going to be going west. I've come to port. Why are the wraps counters not working? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to try something here. That doesn't make any sense. Range is the sonar on right now. Oh. Thirty. Okay, so where do you want to be right now, AJ? Yeah, so whenever we're ready, I think we're going to follow these cables to the west. Bearing okay, that one with the white piece of white tape on. Yeah. Okay. There should be kind of two cables running generally in the same direction. Okay. And we're going to follow the southernmost one of the two. All right. I'm just going to back out and then spin around. Yep. So I need to come back around to starboard. Uh, 
Um, do you want to pick up on Atalanta whenever you get a minute, mate? Yeah. Which way are you going? I'm going to come back around to starboard and then we're heading off. Okay, roger that. On a bit, almost a reciprocal head following that cable with a white tape on. Okay. Stop there, 30 meter delta. Why is it? Does it make any sense? Yeah, it's a strange one. Coming back around to starboard. Following yeah, around. maybe pick up a little as well. We're just at 25 delta again. Thank you. Although I, I do have to come down over this rock. That looks like a brick wall in front of you. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's probably Mothra. That's a bit of a snagging hazard. So we're going to want to follow the cable that is to the left when How these far cables kind of split. Roger. Uh, not too move. much further. I think we'll need another move anyway. Yeah, we will because we're, we're just starting to pull on Argus. Uh, okay. Atalanta now. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Bridge now. Can we move two zero meters west, please? Thank you. Yeah, that cable that went left is now going right. Yeah, just stay on the one that's south. So I'm not sure exactly which cable it is. It's like they might cross again, but just keep staying to the left. Whichever one's left, take that one. Yeah. Towards the bacterial mat. Yeah, it's going to be up the vent. Okay. Coming down on Delta a bit, get you some room to breathe. Yep. Yeah, it's about the end of your leash there. 
Yes, sir. I can spin, but, you know. No, uh, ship's on the way. Yeah. Is that what we're looking for right there? Oh, this looks like a connector. Yes, oh, is, yeah, it yeah. is, right, yeah. That's the uh, bar's parking position, is that right? Or a uh, connector, I guess? That's the connector. Yeah. It should be plugged into a bar's. Hard to see from here. Oh, bars is around the horn there. Yeah, you, I think that's the pig. So do we want to bring the ship slightly more north? But I'd love to get a closer look when it, whenever, you know, the ship's in ready yeah. of that connector and then follow it. No problem. Down towards that. Around the horn, yeah. There's the smoker. We've got smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Or something. Yeah, Lynette, after this uh, ship move, I think we'll want to be more north just to get the tether away from the smoky bits. Sure. Yep. Okay. Um, we're just about done with this move. Do you want just like 10 meters north? We could go with 10 meters, uh, what is that, uh, three on five? Okay. Kind of bring it around the horn, you know? Sure. Bridge now. That's the cable there, we can see now better. Oh, I see the bar's legs. Can we have 10 yeah, meters, those are the bar's legs. 315, please? Down here? Yeah, the little A-frame looking yeah. things. Thank you. So what exactly is this? So bars? This is a benthic and resistivity sensor. Okay. So we have kind of the, uh, we call it the pig. It's sort of the pressure vessel that has these legs. Yeah. It looks like it might be encased in rock, which sometimes happens when you leave these things down here for long enough. Yeah. Um, it will then have like a... Uh, a probe that's kind of on like a hose and the idea is that you stick the probe inside the black smoker of the vent and it measures the i don't know benthic and resistivity yep the science it measures the science yeah exactly it just does <laughs> science for us it's funny that connector I mean, there is a temp probe in there so you can see temperature yeah there is a temp probe yeah <coughs> Okay, do you want closer? No, that's good. Okay. It's a wild spot to put that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this one um, was challenging. Amazing the way the rock just grows all over everything. Yeah, so if we can um, kind of head down and look closer at the bar's yep. um, canister there, the pressure vessel. Oh, I see it. So it doesn't look, in, well, hard to say if it's encased. Could just be Partially. covered in sediment. But so we'll have the cable, oops, meant to draw this one. We'll have the cable that comes in this side, and then there's going to be this yeah. probe, which is going to be kind of hard to see, but we're going to have to find that eventually. Okay. Morning. Hello. Looks 
so that looks like the probe there falling off the cliff to the right. Oh, I see the red tape. Yeah, so this is it here. Yep. Doesn't Eight. look encased. Looks like we can probably move that if we need to, which is good to know. But it looks like whatever vent this was in seems to have uh, disappeared. So yeah, if you don't mind maybe taking us down so we could have a look over here. Okay. You can jump in here in a minute if you want. Ooh. Do you want to man the stills camera? No, no, do you want to, you can take photos. Like 2020 all over again. I think you click autofocus and then you click photo. What's that? Yeah, and you can adjust the like, Dirk was showing me to play with like the aperture and the ISO to try to do the white balance, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so, no, no, that's good. Show some restraint. Um, oh. Sure, the request is to have bars on for this redeployment. So if we can power up J6 on JB15, that well, would be great. Sorry. Do you want to jump in? Okay. So it looks to me like this here could be our wand, as we call it. So it runs here and underneath. Looks like that to me. Or just doing a pilot swap. And a, uh, you know, chimney inspection. Welcome, Megan, to the, to the dive shack. Good morning, all. This bars is... Uh Pretty in there. Mm -hmm. it, could, it could be more in there. It could be more. We have seen. <laughs> we have seen them more yeah, in there. Yeah, actually, I'm true. quite pleased that it's not. <laughs> oh, it's so off. that's I the vent that we're probably okay. going to look for. I got her. Is that where the probe was at one point? Well, the vents shift, so it might have been low. Like the vent might have been lower Roger. down. I don't know. But the question is, where can we put the pig? That's right. Thank we you. needed to give it like uh, like ice climbing picks yeah, I'm or coming, something. I'm coming back yeah, cramp okay. feet. Bars crampons. Yeah, there you go. Bars crampons. <laughs> All right, AJ, sorry. I'm good now. What's up? What are we All doing? right, so you can see this is where our connector is. The cable runs down to our pig, our pressure vessel right there. And then the cable there runs down to what I think is the wand down here. So if we could take a look at the wand. Wand? Yeah. Roger. There's the wand. Wonderful. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clockwise, Roger. Looks like there's something there too. This looks like the little bit that sticks out the back, eh? Yeah, that's that's the one for sure. That's got the 90 degree action on it too. What's that? Yeah, well, so if it, if it was in a vent, we would have to slowly cool the wand. But it looks like the vent is lo is nowhere near here. Actually, so I don't think we have to slowly... It's probably already cold. Yeah, and that's what the temperature data was showing, that it was already cold. But if right, we can, I'm just double-checking that with Steve. Yeah, if we can get a read on that. The wand is not in anything warm, so you don't need to cool it down. Perfect. So yeah, if you could just take us really nice and close into this wand so we can see if, yeah, this is definitely our T-handle right here. Yep. So, 
that's the T-handle. It's like that and that. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. And then this is the wand tip there. So you want us to grab that? And yeah, like move we it just or? have to be really careful that like none of this is like kind of encased <coughs> and just like rips away. Yeah, understood. So I think we just yeah, I think we want to sort of go after the wand, just being really careful. Okay. It's, it's kind of the only advice I can give. We can't really sit here, I guess, is the consensus question mark. It's up to you. It's a question for you, I think. That's deep. 2,200 meters. Okay, Trevor. So, do you want me to nuzzle these rocks first or just go for it? Um, I'm not sure. Like you mean, just kind of test the softness. Just test the softness, yeah. Like, yeah, sure. I don't know, like. Yeah, like right, like right there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, that's good. That's nice. Yeah. I might move that off of it, eh? Yeah, I think that's probably better than letting the cable move it off. Yeah. Which is what's going to happen if we pull on it. Just kidding. Good good job. <laughs> Nailed it. So. I think if we pull it clear of that like yeah I see away then it'll come free okay can I get a zoom in please video I did that zoom in that's good there let's um when we do this if we can just oh no never mind we can see it Great T handle grab there, nailed it. <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to go. Yeah. Eh. So I'm on I'm under a rock. I'm trying to be gentle with this pulling, but like it is pulling the rock up with the cable. I don't love that. No, I don't love that either. So maybe we do need to sort of Roger. do some do some rock management. Extremely light rock management. Okay. Sounds Thanks. good. Can you tip me left, or uh, what is it called? Pan left, please. Thank you. I might be just out of reach. Let's see if I can get there. Also, you might be able to sort of lift the cable from underneath. Oh, understood, yeah. Can which would put less strain on it than pulling. Like, Yeah. I want to push this away, actually. I agree. Yeah. Hmm. Can't see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach it much better than this. Yeah. Might be enough. Might be enough. I can try again while we're here. Oops. Oh, T handle with flare. That's a bueno. It's, no, it's, well, it's it looks coming like it's slowly. Coming. Like it's coming between them. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going nice and slow. No, well, you're moving the rock. Yeah. Not that heavy, can it? Not Don't know how strong half. this cable is. No. Oh, stop! 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 So we can see the other side uh -huh. here, right? Yep. yep. So I don't know if you can clear. I can move over, and yep. so I can drop this, and we can move over. Because you're lifting all that rock on the cable, and I, I just, mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Have no sense of how strong it is. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. Uh, I don't think I can reach that. So come wide, please, video. Pulling wide. Thank you. Yeah, I can't quite reach enough. Copy. You can maybe get away with just a heading change, Josh, if you if you can. How about you just don't tell me what to do, Trevor? Okay. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Actually, he's my boss. I forgot.
If I turn this rock into sand, it's exactly. no longer heavy, right? <laughs> Let me just move this micro piece. Yeah, and then, okay, <laughs> this is. What are we doing here? <laughs> Should have brought my shovel. Okay, you have that a was a good one. We have scoops, yeah. I met you personally. Yeah. Do you not have a shovel? Honestly? Yeah. No, I do. I do have a shovel. Okay. Some. Neat. <laughs> Glad we had this chat. Cleared that up. Don't poke it. Nuzzle. Excellent. Nicely done. Okay, I love that. I love that you love it. Yeah. Oop, not enough. I wonder how many people in this room have shovels. Most. I don't think that's true. Dust. All right, I think we can try. Okay. AJ, do you own a shovel? What was that, Josh? Do you own a shovel? I actually stole one of Nico's shovels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, depending on your That's the best answer definition of ownership, I do you have a shovel? It's still stuck under some, isn't it? Uh, it's just that. that it's just a little bit of rock. If you pull it towards you, it might come free. Baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. I Wonderful. Stole, stole the cushion. Okay, so maybe we want to just go and put this down next to the pig. Roger. I'm halted. Roger. And then we can do some investigation. Some remage. For a, a flat spot. Okay, so. Are we going to be moving the pig? I think we'll have to, yeah. Okay. I mean, we can. We can maybe just test to see how long this, like whether this cable will reach where the pig is. You seeing this AJ right there? I'm just gonna slowly pull it out of there. The mud there. Sorry? The cable there, I'm just gonna see how it's kinda in the I mud I think there. the cable, no, I think it's fine. Kay. Like this yep. here? Yeah. I think that's okay. If, if you, whoa, 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 don't yep. pull. Yep. I don't, don't wanna pull, pull the bars yep. off, Roger. but if we look I don't know if we can like camera up just to see if this will reach the vent. No, I don't think so. I think the vent's up even higher. So I do think we're gonna have to move the pig. Roger. But now the cable between the connector and the pig also looks pretty encased, so. I think I see some venting between us and the uh, ODI by the worms. Yeah, well, we can go have a look. Uh, but yeah, feel free to place this wand somewhere. Okay, so we're just going to put this right beside the pig body? Yeah, just trying to not have it fall down the slope. So maybe just above it somewhere? Yeah. I would ask that we try not to land the wand on its tip when we put it down. Well, I'm not going to be able to land here, Trevor, so I guess Understood. it's all you. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Try that. See if that happens. That stays, Great. yeah, sure. Yeah, perfect. Let's just follow this cable up just, um, just to see if we really are going to be able to move it at all. Roger. Yeah, I definitely got more pressure in the vehicle. Today. Yeah. Arms secure. Roger. Are you looking for black venting or clear venting? Black. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I saw near the ODI. Uh, cable looks free, more or less. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Right. A little buried there. Yeah. Okay. So I think we've got options, like, to move this. If we come up a bit, 
let's get a sense of whether or not there's some flat area near the like maybe we could put the pig here hmm yeah How do you want to move the pig and the wand at the same time? Uh, let's cr let's figure that out in a minute. Okay. Yeah, the pig where you suggested would probably reach that spot. You think it'll reach here? I think so. I don't think it'll reach that little flower vase on top. Do we have a temperature probe with us? Yeah, we do. Do we want to go temperature probe that vent? Uh, so the other part about this is how do we put the ROV in a place where it can do the thing? Nope. <laughs> so we have a like big Neanderthal brow on this thing, on this vehicle, so you don't really want to be porching up against it because then you'd be melting all your everything. But we can porch out pretty far. So I don't know. I don't know. We could try it. Yeah. Let me just shoulder up on the magnum first, and then I'll... Okay. Bummer. Mm. Am I clear to porch out? Probably, right? Uh, I can look down. I think so. As long as the magnum's not on it. It's actually incorrect. There was no request to turn it off in the dive plan. No. It was requested because we weren't sure. Because I think Dirk went back and looked at the MEF recovery to figure out how to recover a bars, and it had shut that one off. So it was kind of an overcorrection. So we want to temp probe that? Or what's the, what are we doing? What'd you like? Yes. <laughs> What's up? What, what would you like to do? AJ? Was, sorry, was that direct to me? Yeah, sorry, AJ. Uh, what, what would you like? You want to temp probe that? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to temp probe that. Okay. Can I get the temp probe out before you land? Just to... Well, I'm not going to be able to... When I say land. Yeah. Yeah. You fly know. him? Yes, absolutely. Now, should we land somewhere away before you get the temporal out in case you drop it during the picking up or you're... It's you're, springy, you know, Lodi. You're happy? It'll be good. In that case, um, what do you need from me then? Uh, you could show me the something. Maybe show me the arm first and then okay. I'll... How's that? That's, that's neat. You can follow me over to temporal action. Maybe camera in? Yeah. Right. Retracting the camera. Just for, you know, safety's sake. Mm -hmm. Camera's really out there. Flopping in the breeze. So... I think this is the grab I'm going to want. Ooh, not great. So in order to see the temperature probe, we yeah. just need to pull it up in Grafana, is that right? That sounds right. <laughs> sounds like a great thing. Roger. Just trying to get over here. OK. 
Okay, I'm halted there. Okay. Hey, Lynette, there might be software that runs on the sonar computer that shows temp probe. Can you try to pull that up? I think there's a temp probe readout on Grafana. Sorry, temp probe readout on the desktop. I've got it here. You got it? I'm Chief Sai. <laughs> I'm Chief Sai. Good, right. I'll go back to bed. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What's your Grafana? Her quarter temp? Is that, is that the right one? I think so. Do we have another temperature sensor just for the water temperature? How do I? We'll see if it shoots help. up. Help. Really? Browse. Playlists? No, what? What's the name of the Grafana dashboard? <coughs> We're under all data right now. Oh, neat. That's probably under there. All. There's, there's a whole bunch under all data, so we're guessing at her quarter temp. Doesn't work. Nothing works. <laughs> Turns out I gotta be on the right thing. That helps. Unless there's uh Temperature probe, that's a better one. Ooh, that sounds more promising. Okay. Well, Not we her reached water a whopping temp temperature two degrees. 1.86, yeah, love that. Oh, do you have it um, not graphically, digitally? I think we can show that on here. Uh, uh, is it? Will I tell you, like, is that the... There. Should so be able to make it bigger, though. Right now, Josh, the bumper bar is in the hot. So that's... This is going to be tough, guys. Um, I don't know how we're going to do anything close to stability here. We're just putting our brow right in the hot fluid. So the arm can't reach that much further than the brow, is that the idea? It can, we just can't be stable. We can temp probe, but you know how stable we need to be to put the bars in? Yeah. You know, the, the slow thing and gas tights and all the stuff, we want to be stable. Yeah, I mean, I guess maybe finding a vent that then has like a spot to sit would be? It would definitely be better. That's generally what we've done, um, but I'm open to other ideas. We can survey any. this area. I mean, we can't go very far from the connector that you see down to your bottom left there, but yeah, there might be a more suitable vent that gives us more options. I mean, this vent looks like a good vent from a science standpoint. For sure, yeah. But I don't see how we'll be able to... We could make our own vent by knocking the top off. 